The reedfish is by far one of the most interesting fish in the aquarium trade. It has a unique look to it and it gets along with pretty much any other species of fish out there. In this video we'll go over some basic info, some tank setup and just general advice in regards to this fish. My name is Gus and this is my aquarium info. The reed fish comes to us from Africa. It's a seasonal fish, so it might not be available year round, but if you manage to get a hold of one or maybe even a couple of them, they will definitely make a fascinating addition to your aquarium. Do plan on keeping them for a while as they have a lifespan of about a decade and you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the space for them as well. They will get about a foot and a half in length. Now, the thing I like about the reed fish and the reason I recommend this fish for all aquarists is that they're different. They're not your average fish, and I don't mean to sound cheesy when I say this, but when they swim around, they look majestic, like there's no other way to put it. They will bring a sort of uniqueness when it comes to your aquarium, whether you're an experienced or beginner, of course. These guys also have a pair of lungs, so that makes them a little bit more durable. As far as aquarium setup advice, probably the most important advice I can give you in regards to the reed fish is to secure your tank. These guys are phenomenal skate artists. I opened my aquarium top to feed my fish the other day and my reed fish was swimming above the water. Half of its body was still in the water, but the other half was above. It looked like a miniature version of the Loch Ness Monster. It totally freaked me out. And remember that these guys have a pair of lungs, so if they do get out, they will slither around until they dry out. Reed fish are somewhat timid, so you should definitely provide a lot of hiding spaces. Plants work best since they make your aquarium look nice and provide a lot of coverage. These fish should be kept in brackish and fresh water. I personally keep them in fresh water. Just make sure you keep that water in a temperature in between 73 and 81 degrees. Now let's go ahead and talk about feeding. What do reed fish eat? In the wild, reed fish feed primarily on tiny, tiny fish, insects, small crustaceans, and worms. What should you be feeding them? I would stick to whatever fish food you feed your regular fish now, as long as it sinks to the bottom of the aquarium. I would also advise of worms, live worms. Um, you can always feed them frozen worms, but just live worms seem to work a little bit better for me. It creates a little bit more atmosphere. They're a little bit more energetic when they have to hunt for the worms. I would recommend small blood worms for the smaller reed fish. If you got something underneath six inches, if you have a little bit bigger reed fish, I would definitely feed them night crawlers. Reed fish can be kept with a variety of fish. I personally have mine with barbs, loaches, angelfish. I even have some African dwarf frogs in there and I haven't had a problem. They pretty much keep to themselves. My reed fish actually entangle themselves in each other and like to just hang out like that. It's totally cool. Um, but for the most part, you can keep them with pretty much anything. Now, I was going to do a sort of pros and cons on this fish, but there really aren't that many cons. Um, usually fish, they're not for beginner fish or they're aggressive. This fish is pretty much the perfect fish. One thing though, they do get really long, so you kind of have to sort of respect their, their, their size. So I wouldn't keep them in a 5 gallon, in a 10 gallon. I would recommend something like 30 gallons. I personally keep them in 50 gallons. Um, I might even have to upgrade once they get uh, their full size. So with that, thank you very much for listening to the end. Um, if you have any questions in regards to reed fish or anything having to do with your aquarium, please let me know in the comments below. My name is Gus and this is my aquarium info.